Uh, in the beginning, when I started learning trim carpentry, um, I would measure these things. So I would take the tape and I'd go out here and I'd take a measurement and then measure here and then here and then I'd measure here. And um, you're only going to be so accurate on that. And it's time consuming. So the way we uh, the way we do it is we uh, mark. And so I'll take this piece of uh, scrap baseboard and I'll move it over here until it touches this in the wall. And then I'll make a, uh, uh, take this other piece of scrap block and I will slide it down until it touches. So I'm touching here and here, here and here, and here and there. So I'll just make a mark right quick. All right, let's make sure we got it all in position. And I'll make a mark right there. And then I'll come over here, making sure we're still up against the wall. Mark that. And then um, that gets us the side to side measurement. And then we'll, hopefully I'm not in your way. And then butt this over here so that this piece is touching this outside here. And then we'll lay a scrap block under there so the, this piece is touching up under here. And we will mark, whoops, we will mark that. Need more hands right there. And essentially that mark, which is going here, will be the depth that we're going to take out. So I also have an arrow here, which I'll show you in a close-up in a minute. That's just to give me an orientation that uh, this piece here goes against the wall. So we've marked side to side. We moved over here and placed a piece up under it and marked that. And then we'll go and connect these lines. I'll show you how to do that. And then uh, we'll make a, a cut with the jigsaw and then give it a test fit. Here is our piece of wood that we marked earlier. You can see this reference point here. Um, you can see these two marks here. And all that's left to do is sort of transfer those marks where we can see them on this board. So what I can do is I can just kind of eyeball that and then use a speed square or a... Um, a gauge of some kind to transfer this over and the same thing up here. Um, typically what I use, you don't have to use this, you can use a speed square, but this is a Craig Multimark. I don't get a dime from any sales of this tool, but it slides up and it has um, inches and millimeters on here, uh, millimeters on this side. And um, so I'm just gonna simply, instead of measuring, I'm gonna mark. And I'm going to take this guy here and just slide this out until it hits our mark. And that looks good. I'll tighten down that. All right, this is the depth that we marked. So we know we're going to cut this part out up here. And this will be the depth going under that uh, uh, dryer vent. Let me just check it one more time. Looks good. So I'm going to set that aside. Then I'm just going to use a square to transfer these marks over to the front of this so we can see them. So I'll just make a mark here. Line it up on that mark, bring it over. And then from there, we can just kind of eyeball that. So I'm just tilting it so I can see the mark and I'm just gonna put a little tick mark and I'm transferring. All we're doing is transferring the mark we made to the front or the face of the board. I'll put a little mark there. Make a little tiny mark down here. Put it here. Make a mark there. Do the same thing here. Just line it up. And then move this over. Mark that. So that's going to give us an indicator of the depth here and here. This is the width of the cut here and here. So at this point, I'm just going to 
line these marks up and make my cut line here. Make my cut line here. Double checking everything. And then um, we're just going to take a um, piece of scrap and connect this mark to that mark so that we draw it all the way over. All right, got our scrap piece. What we're going to do is just lay this scrap piece down here and mark it. And it'll mark this and this so we have a line to cut uh, with the jigsaw. So I'll just lay, lay that on there. Line up the edges and give her a mark. And I'm going to make these cuts. Okay, moment of truth. Let's move it into place so we get. But this is a good fit, and um, this is a test piece, which I'm going to use as a template, and then I'll simply um, lay this on top of my final baseboard and mark it using this template, and then and then just cut it.